<laughs> I love that. Oh, we've been taught not to yell and for women not to raise our voices. Mm. So how cathartic or difficult was that yell during the storm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. it was very cathartic. It, I mean, what I love, hmm, without ruining things, but I think the conceit of this film is powerful because not only does it require us as actors to be quiet and to hold the tension of the stakes of sound, but the audience participates in that as well. In order to watch this movie, especially in the cinema, there is a there is an unspoken contract that we will all be quiet, more so than in most movies. So when that conceit is established and then broken in a moment, it's rewarding. Joseph, um, you have to react to things that aren't there. Did working on uh, Stranger Things help prepare you for a movie like this? Yeah, I definitely cut my teeth on that one. Yeah, in terms of running away from uh, the tennis balls, yes. <laughs> and that's uh, part of the fun of this thing, is you have to rely on your imagination in certain, uh, certain jobs more than others. Um, and you can, uh, it's very easy to laugh. I wanted to follow up on that. Um, I tend to be chatty. Mm. Um, when you have to be so quiet on set, does it spill over into your life so you become very quiet, or do you just get really boisterous? How is this set? I find you kind of swing back the other way in your personal life. I found myself uh, being quite loud in the shower and just kind of <laughs> being a bit of uh, being quite chaotic at home uh, because that would offset the <laughs> the need for silence at work. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, you, yeah. You enjoy the sound of your voice when you are, you don't get to use it much when you're working. They say don't work with children and animals. Mm -hmm. And you got a cat you got both. attached mm -hmm. to you. <laughs> um, how difficult was that? Was it a real cat? Because um, it's adorable. Yeah. I was afraid of cats before I made this movie. Yeah, I really was not. It's one of the things that was holding me back from saying yes to it was the cat. Because I was really terrified of cats. And um, I begged Michael to change it. I asked him, please, let's use even an armadillo. They're pretty quiet, aren't they? And he very gently said, no, it's got to be a cat. So I had to get over my fear of cats. I, I got help. You know, someone came with cats to my home to help me through it. And I went through some cat therapy before I, I got to uh, the UK to shoot this and um, by the end of the movie I was madly in love with them you know so it's categorical. I love that. Uh, just to wrap up, um, <laughs> pizza plays a strategic role in this movie. If you had a last meal mm. what would yours be? Mm. That's a good question. I'm gonna have to double down on pasta some kind of ragu would be good. Mm -hmm. Mine would probably be, I really like liver. Yeah, yeah chicken liver. Chicken liver I really is like your it. last meal? Yeah. Pate or just a chicken liver? Chicken liver, like, or Chicken yeah. livers. Yeah, chicken livers and some quinoa and kale. I love kale. Kale. Mmm, mmm. I grew up with chicken liver. Isn't it My good? mom made me sit at the table until I ate it all. Oh, you didn't like it? <laughs> I didn't. Oh. But I love that you do. I do. I really like chicken liver. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to go with your last meal, not yours. <laughs> <laughs>